Hi guys, we're in my kitchen just to try out a little suggestion by, well, how do we pronounce that one? Josh A. Op, Josh A. Op, Josh A. Op. Suggested we should be able to get the solar rocker rocking using two saltwater batteries made from copper and aluminium. Well, being as I've just thrown out a couple of aluminium trays that we had some uh, ready meals in, I thought we'd give it a try. Um, these are cleaned out. So I've got a little bit of copper wire and a plastic peg. So I can put that on there. And I can connect that one straight onto there. So that's our little solar rocker. I've warmed up some water. It's not boiling, but it's warm. It'll just make the salt dissolve quicker. Make sure we've got enough in there to cover the copper wire. Uh, I've got a meter over here. Hasn't got a stand on it. Can't see that. Can't see that. I'm gonna have to hold it, aren't I? That's gonna be awkward. Should have used my other meter. Okay, if I connect that on there. Uh, and touch it over there. We've got Four millivolts. And if we, that's just, uh, oh, there may be a tiny bit of salt left in that tray because I did test this before I thought we'd video it. But um, yeah, we'll add some salt. Give it a bit of a stir. obviously the salty water is the electrolyte. Right, hold that. Oh, that went up to 0.6. Yeah, she is twitching. Can you see that at all? Oh, got the cam uh, got the meter in the way. You have to look very carefully but she's definitely twitching because she works with about 0.6 of a volt. So we're doing it with a single salt water battery. I mean, yes, we've only got a tiny bit of copper in there. That won't affect the voltage, but it will affect the amount of current generated. But she is Definitely twitching. What that is, is the capacitor in there is building up charge. And when it's got enough charge, it discharges and we get a little twitch from her. So, what we're going to do now is get another tray. Disconnect that from there. Connect it on there. Obviously we need another bit of copper. So I've got a bit of copper wire here. Which I'll put over the edge, because obviously you don't want the copper wire touching the aluminium. If I now connect that, disconnect my meter, connect that onto there. So now when I put some salt water in here, we'll have a two cells in series. So we should get over a volt. Uh, I'll reconnect the meter onto that bit of wire there. Again, make sure it's not touching the side. This is all a bit loose. I ought to be gluing it to the table or something. 
Can we see? No, we can't even see that meter now, can we? Oh, we can see it there. Okay. So at the moment, we probably shouldn't have anything because we're not connected through. We've got a disconnection just here because that copper wire is hanging in the air. It's still measuring about 0.6 volts. How is it doing that? Oh, yeah, it's still measuring that one because that one's still connected. So I shouldn't be having my meter connected just there. I should we have it connected there because that's the same place as there. Right, so just measure that again. This time we should get nothing. Hmm, still about a 3 millivolts. Don't know why that is. Something's getting through somewhere. Uh, yeah, not quite sure why. Never mind. Hopefully when we put water in there we'll get a much better... Oh, I know. Hang on. Right, don't like doing this because it would be black to red. So we lose our colour scheme. But if I put that onto there... So say so I'm not quite sure why we're getting 0.3 of a volt measure in there. Somebody can probably work it out, but I can't. It's got to be some sort of feedback, some sort of feedback through the meter. Anyway, put some water in here. She's off and running, just about, because there was some salt left in there from me testing it. A little bit more. Still only measuring just over the six on there. I'm not quite sure why that's quite so low. Although she will be drawing some of that. Yeah, I won't be getting more than that. It's going up to about 0.7 and then the capacitor's taking the current, isn't it? That's what's happening there. There we go. Solar rocker on Josh Ayop, Josh Ayop suggestion, aluminium, salt water and a copper anode. Aluminium, salt water, copper anode and they're in series. Don't know how long it'll last for. I mean, she's building up speed now, isn't she?
and this is building up that's nearly a volt now 0.9 I could put lots more salt in there but I'm not. We've got enough in there to demonstrate how it works. So I'll just show that again. The solar panel has been taken out and I've soldered a couple of crocodile clip leads directly onto where the solar panel was. Positive is coming along here to the copper wire that's going into the water. So that's the anode. The cathode is the aluminium tray itself. And then over this side, we've got a lead going from the cathode to another copper bit of, bit of copper wire, which is another anode, into the salt water. And then the cathode from there is the aluminium tray again. That's going to the negative side of the solar rocker. And then over there, I've got another lead that's coming off to the meter there and the lead going around the back to the other side. So if I disconnect that then we've got zero reading there. Take that one off there as well. And she's just running so there's no possibility of the meter putting any power into the circuit. She's just running quite happily off two aluminium trays and salt water and a bit of copper wire. What I'll now try and do is arrange all this so I can do a thumbnail picture with Josh's name in there somewhere. Can I slide that under there? Yeah, if I move this around a little bit. I was just watching the video back and realised that we didn't establish where that odd voltage was coming from when it was disconnected. It's coming from her. There's a capacitor in there, as I've already mentioned, that gets charged up. So when I had no water in there, so we should have had a disconnected circuit, I was measuring from here to there, when that was connected up there, and I was still getting the voltage. So if I just do that again, connect that the negative lead of my meter onto the tray, and we've got a little bit of tiny microvolts there, that's just capacitance from me. But if we go on to the solar rocker, so it's just aluminium tray, negative, solar rocker, and then touch it on there. And yeah, there's our three point uh, point. <laughs> 0.393 volts it's coming out of the solar rocker it's the capacitance in there so that was the odd voltage that I couldn't figure out where it was coming from and if we do this the other way so we're going through the battery or through both cells and go on to that side we're actually getting well, sliding around we're getting just over a volt Got a shadow on it. Right, there we are. We're actually getting 
1.045 volts. So that's from the two aluminium trays with the salt water in them. So yeah, so the odd 0.3 or 300 millivolts we were getting was coming out of the solar rocker and with the solar rocker disconnected we're getting just over a volt from these two salt water batteries or salt water cells in series. So if I connect that back up again, once that capacitor has charged up and got it rocking properly she'll be back in operation. She'll take a while to get going but we saw her working so I won't wait for that. But that was it. I was watching the video back and realised we hadn't established where the odd voltage was coming from and it was her. Just in case you doubted me I've come back out again and she's built up speed again. So she's happy with her salt water batteries. Thanks for watching. If you like that, then you might like this. And if you like this and that, you might like to subscribe over there. <laughs>